Okay, so let's create the first bot applying what we just learned. I am going to create a new agent and I'm going to name it breakfast bot number two because I already have the first one built earlier. And it will be a bot to order breakfast. No surprises there. It's going to be pretty simple. But it should help you understand uh, the concepts that we just discussed. So I just created the fresh bot. Now we have the start page here. And uh, what's already in here is the default welcome intent that uh, recognizes, hit edit, then you can see it, uh, recognizes when we say hello. And that's okay, so we're gonna leave that in. To kick off the conversation, we want to move on then though to the coffee ordering stage of the conversation. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a transition after the welcome intent that does not have a, a condition. So we just enter true here. And that will just trigger the next page. Uh, here we go, coffee. Don't forget to hit save. So it's another difference that I noticed to dialog for ES. You always have to hit save, otherwise your changes are gonna be lost. It's probably gonna happen to me at least another time in this uh, demo. So uh, we want to ask, would you like some coffee? Hit save. Now remember from the previous video, so the options are yes or no, obviously. And we, so we'll create a yes and no intent and we'll nest that in a route each. So you can just do that by hitting new route here. And we'll add some training phrases. Yes. If, uh, Should be enough hit save and then i'm going to create already the next page which will be breakfast so after the coffee you can you have a choice of uh, breakfast so then when someone says yes here we're going to um, configure the route in a way that it will uh, move to the breakfast page next. And still what we need is the no intent. So I'm going to create another new intent. We will add some training phrases. That should be enough for now. And for this one, we will just end the conversation as in the outlined in the previous video so and flow in this case cool so now we're asking would you like some coffee we have two intents yes and no no is heading to the end flow so we should already be able to test out this route hopefully everything works hi how are you doing so how are you doing is coming from the start page and then the start page has a route that leads to the coffee uh, intent next. And the coffee intent has the entry dialog, would you like some coffee? So that's what we can see here. Uh, and like I promised, I will say no. And then, okay, now the conversation is over. So let's add another page. No, sorry, we already added the breakfast page. So here we will ask, and would you like some breakfast? You know what? We can even enhance it here a little bit and add a, a fulfillment. So an answer after someone says yes, so we'll just say, 
coming up here just to make sure that we also respond to the request for coffee and next so the next thing is that I will create an intent um, that will recognize two types of breakfast so how do we recognize two types of breakfast we will create a custom entity that can recognize a type of any sort uh, I will call it breakfast type and now we can enter some choices here uh, sorry not breakfast uh, that's not something on the menu um, X Benedict I had in mind X. and then we can provide some alternative ways of writing also just X is fine in this case since we are not going to order any uh, offer any other variants so here sometimes the uh, interface of Dialogflow CX is still a bit rough let's say so how can I add another entity it's not obvious but I figured it out so you just need to uh, hit enter one more time after clicking here so what's the other choice it's gonna be avocado on toast but also just if someone says toast will be fine since we're only order offering one type of toast I haven't really experimented with this but I'm gonna activate the fuzzy matching just so I can see what happens I'll hit save and now I will create my next intent I could also create it here in the build view but I'm gonna since I'm in this manage view I will just do it here and what should be the name of the intent basically it's about what's the user intent here it's order breakfast so that's what I'm gonna call it I'll provide some training phrases I would like some avocado on toast hit enter and now what we need to do is uh, highlight this text that represents our choice of breakfast and assign it the breakfast type which is at the end of the list now as a custom type and uh, let's apply some some more training phrases a portion of x a uh, portion no no one would say that a plate of x benedict how do you actually write this with a c or a k i don't know but the bot will recognize both since we entered both into the entity uh, let's give another example where someone just says toast boom save and now I will go back to the build view and again so remember that the intent needs to be nested in a route so I always want to look for a part here that says intent but it doesn't I always need to go and create a route and then in the route I will add my order breakfast intent and we will just add a an answer great choice just to round that off and that will be it for now let's see if that works hi how can i assist would you like some coffee okay i'm just going to make sure that the previous route still works so no now the conversation is over uh starting over would you like some coffee yes coming up would you like some breakfast well for the best conversation flow i should have provided already some options now it seems like i have to uh, enter yes or no again but since we know what to do uh, okay let's do something crazy a portion of x um well okay so it actually the natural language um capabilities actually re recognize that even though i didn't provide a portion of x as an example so that's great and uh, but since we only have two breakfast types in my entity it recognized this correctly as x benedict 
And here we go. We just created our first Dialogflow CX bot uh, with two steps, Co a coffee step, yes, no. If you say no, the conversation goes into the end state. If you say yes, we go into the breakfast state, so to speak. And now, yeah, we know how to use uh, pages, routes, or the basic version of routes and intents.